please introduce yourself first, Miss. Okay, well, my name is Asiha Pantima. I am 43 years old and I have been a teacher since 2003. So I've been teaching since uh, for 20 years. I teach in SM Kabakti Mulia Wonogiri. Okay, Miss, thank you. Now let's get started. Okay. Um, what is Curriculum Merdeka in your perspective? Curriculum Merdeka, well, it's something new. Curriculum Merdeka is something new, at least the name is new. <laughs> uh, and yes. the material that we have to deliver are a bit different. But there, are, there are some differences and there are some similarities. So yeah, it is something new for me. I don't know much about Curriculum Merdeka actually. Um, when did the school start Curriculum Merdeka and what grade have Curriculum Merdeka implementation? Okay, so it started last year, but so that would be in 2022, right? Yes, and the grade that use uh, Curriculum Merdeka are the 11th and the 10th grade here at the school where I teach. The subject, for any subject, what activities do the student have? For any subject or English, or English subject. Yeah, well, yeah English subject or English subject. Well, okay, first of all, I have to tell you that I teach the 11th graders, right? So okay. I have to deliver six materials in a year, right? And uh, I do a lot of speaking classes in my class because I believe that it's important for my students and also I uh, you know that you know I only deliver six materials in a year before using okay. curriculum Merdeka, we use KTSP right so we have to deliver mm -hmm. around uh, 15 materials in a year so we don't have much time to do a speaking class but now with the curriculum Merdeka, I believe inshallah I can do more of speaking classes for my students so it is focused on speaking skill uh, not only speaking but I also do reading classes but yeah, uh, I just told you that I have more time to do speaking. So we do speaking, yes, uh, reading, yes, and then listening, yes, everything. We should do every, uh, we have We have to help the students to improve all of their English skills. Okay, um, what are the examples of curriculum Merdeka implementation in English subject? Okay, so based on the government's a rule or something like that well uh, the for the 11th graders right we have to deliver materials about descriptive text and then narrative and then uh, argumentation and then also exposition so that is what I do I will do for my 10 11 graders to do. and that is what the government told us to do so yeah I have to say what uh, do what they tell me to do the government I mean um, what kind of projects do the student have ah, actually for the ex uh, position tax I want to make some kind of project for my students where they have to explain about something uh, that deals with their major so we have pharmacy and then our, uh, health analyst major but so I want them to like explain about a certain disease and how it attacks our body for pharmacy but I still think about the plan but I don't know uh, how it's gonna uh, how am I gonna you know implement it I'm not really sure about it yet but yeah that is the kind of project that I am gonna do I will do Kingdom, what are the benefits of curriculum Merdeka implementation for teacher and students? Well, probably they give us uh, in, in enough space to dig whatever we want to dig to uh, to help the students with their with everything they need. I mean, we only have to deliver six materials, so we have a lot of time to. Uh, you know to find what they are good at and what they are not good at and to help them with their studies But yeah, that's the, adv the advantage. 
six materials will give us a lot of time to do it, to explore and everything. Okay, then are there any differences between the material in Curriculum Merdeka and the previous curriculum? Yes, absolutely. Uh, well, uh, uh, you know, the for the Curriculum Merdeka, the you know the, the approach is still the same. They use Zangra based. If I'm not mistaken, it was it used the you know, it used the Zangra based. So actually, they are a bit the same. But then the tasks that we need to deliver sometimes somehow they are a bit different. So for the 11th graders in KTSP, we had to deliver like procedure, and then we have. Um, her, her tertiary exposition. We don't teach that for our 11th grader in curriculum Merdeka. So yeah, there's this difference. The, uh, and it is about the material that we have to deliver. Um, what are the example of materials in curriculum Merdeka, Miss? Okay, we have a uh, descriptive text. We have exposition, we have argumentation, and then we have narrative for the 11th grader because I teach the 11th grader. Okay. Are there any special strategies you implement in teaching English using curriculum data? Um, actually, you ask me if I know a, a little uh, or I know a lot about curriculum data, I don't because oh, I, I, I don't think we have the training for that yet. So, I just guess, you know, I think this is curriculum Merdeka, so I just guess. So what I do, what, the special thing that I do for curriculum Merdeka is that I use a lot of, I do a lot of speaking classes for my students, which is something that I cannot do in KTSP. Do you evaluate learning? Okay, you mean the test? The, yes. Okay. Uh, well, as... I do this also in KTSP. So for speaking, I do the you know the speaking test, and then they have to to to, uh, to speak. I have to evaluate their speaking skill, and then for writing, I have to uh, evaluate their writing skill. They have to write something, and I will evaluate it. And then for reading, I have some questions that they will have to answer. So it's basically the same as in KTSP. 